Hi, I'm Mike Michelizzi, and I'd like to welcome you to our Custom Technical University and our top five tips for exterior tile installations. You know, many projects today call for setting tile in exterior conditions. These may be commercial or residential applications using tile or stone on patios, decks, walls, or building facades. One example we see are tiled balconies. They become very popular as an extension of interior space. Exposure to extreme temperatures and moisture are just a few of the elements that we're going to consider. Here are our top five tips for your next exterior tile installation. Tip number one, only install tile that can hold up to the elements. Ideally, all exterior rated tile should be appropriate for weather in North America and can survive the freeze-thaw cycles. Regardless of where the project is located, tile should have a maximum porosity of 3%, even less in areas where there's harsh weather. The less absorbent the material, the less likely the tile will fail. A porcelain tile with less than half percent porosity would be ideal. Currently, there is no ANSI standard encompassing all exterior tiles. However, any tile set on an outdoor walking surface should have a dynamic coefficient of friction, or DCOF, of at least 0.42. This meets the requirements of ANSI A137-1 for slip resistance of interior ceramic tile when it gets wet. Always check with the tile manufacturer about the suitability of the material for your project and consult the absorption and DCOF test results if they're available. Tip number two, incorporate movement joints correctly. In addition to freezing, tile installed outdoors must be able to handle the fluctuations of thermal expansion and contraction. All tiles will absorb heat from the sun and the darker will absorb the most. Temperatures can change dramatically and a cold rain shower on a hot black stone causes rapid contraction. Exposure to sun and snow means that the installation must be able to accommodate significant movement without sustaining damage from the freeze and thaw. To help with these conditions, the Tile Council of North America recommends the installation of movement joints every 8 to 12 feet and using a flexible sealant like Custom's commercial 100% silicone caulk. We strongly suggest adding movement joints at least every 8 feet and making them as wide as possible. Against any building walls, make sure your joints are at least four times the amount of normal movement expected, especially for an above ground installation that's cantilevered like a balcony. Don't forget to add soft joints to all steps and risers and never tile over joints in existing concrete or make the movement joints smaller than the existing joint. Tip number three. Tiling balconies requires extra planning. Think of balconies as shower stalls, only you just can't turn off the water. So proper waterproofing is essential for tile work installed on raised porches, decks, and balconies. Any area that abuts or covers an inhabited space. The primary concern is draining water away from the structure or to a drain, preventing water from entering the building. With proper care and planning, both of your goals can be accomplished. The TCNA Handbook offers several methods for tiled balconies and decks. Details F103, 103B, and also 104, which describes direct bonding. Each of these methods requires a pre-sloped concrete substrate for proper drainage. The construction must also comply with local building codes. To deflect water away from the building, the slope on the balcony must have a minimum pitch of a quarter inch per foot. No bird baths or divots in the slope are allowed. Proper flashing must also be installed to prevent seepage, including a cove reglet embedded into the wall above the tile, mortar, and waterproofing layer. Include a waterproofing membrane that meets or exceeds ANSI A118.10 and 118.12 if possible. And it also has to be rated by the manufacturer for these types of applications. Liquid applied Red Guard waterproofing and crack prevention membrane serves a dual purpose in exterior conditions protecting both the tile and the structure. When tiling over a green concrete slab that has high moisture content, Spiderweb 2 uncoupling mat is an excellent choice for waterproofing and crack isolation. All movement joints, any intrusions, including around drains or balusters, require flexible sealant. So study the appropriate method and follow the product manufacturer's directions carefully in each step. Be sure to use a premium quality mortar that's rated for above ground use like FlexBond crack prevention mortar. And if you're going to tile a balcony or deck, make sure you have a highly experienced installer on the job. Full mortar coverage, at least 95% is required. No spot bonding is allowed. 
Tip number four, protect the installation during the tile setting. The outdoor environment can wreak havoc before you begin. Keep in mind both the installation materials and the environment should be between 50 and 90 degrees Fahrenheit during the work. Fully protect the site from sun, wind, and rain for the duration of the tile setting process and throughout all stages of the cure. Fast setting waterproofing mortars and grouts can help prevent an extended period of tenting. When working with a natural stone, it should be sealed to protect it from the elements and the outdoor contaminants. More porous stone can benefit from a six-sided treatment with a sealer like Aquamix or Tile Lab penetrating sealers prior to bedding the tile. To deepen or enhance the color of a natural stone like travertine or slate, apply an enhancing sealer like Enrich and Seal, but do this only after the tile is installed and not after using a penetrating sealer. Tip number five, use quality tile installation products formulated for exterior use. Like the tile, the insulation products need to stand up to harsh weather conditions. So always use a polymer modified dry set mortar that's rated for exterior use and exposure to wet conditions. To support the weight of heavy natural stone and large format tile, consider Megalite Crack Prevention Mortar or Prolite Tile and Stone Mortar. Both offer premium bond strength and flexibility for non-sag applications on exterior walls and floors. If you're using a cement-based grout, make sure it meets or exceeds ANSI A118.7 and will not effloresce. Custom's Prism Sure Color Grout is a fast curing option that delivers consistent color without modeling or shading, regardless of temperature or humidity. With Prism, you won't have to worry about efflorescence. Using a system of eligible custom products, you can set exterior tile confidently, even on a balcony, and qualify for up to a lifetime system warranty on the project. If you'd like to know more about tiling exteriors or how custom products can help you with your next project, please visit our website, custombuildingproducts.com, or give us a call. And be sure to like our video, share it, and subscribe for the latest tips on tile installation. Thanks again for joining us at Custom Technical University. We'll see you at our next edition of Custom's Top 5 Tips.